we are waiting for the airplanes to be decided and for them to ready up and go into the first one versus one. And as I said that, 30 seconds and they're ready to go. And wow. the airplane... <gasps> no, no way. <laughs> I, I'm 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 taking a drink to this. I will take I will take I will take freaking Russian vodka to this. Like this is wow. amazing. This is awesome. The last game. Be, the last game of the entire <laughs> tournament. We will see the P thirty six G Hawk. Oh, I wish it was wow. simulator battle, but it is realistic <laughs> battle. But this is, I I'm at I'm at a loss for words. I just don't know where to go from this or what to do. Um. Wow. Well, this will be one for the, uh, I don't even know, one for the something, one for the archive, like one for the VODs, one for the holy shit. Like, really? I can't we've believe. We've seen BF109, we've seen uh, Yak, Yak 1B, LA5. Uh, LA5, I don't think we've seen the Spitfire. P39N. Um, P39. Yeah. We haven't seen the Japanese have... KI. No, I don't but this plane is the one plane I would never, <laughs> ever, ever. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but okay then. Uh, it's a uh, it's head shooter flying out for white rhinoceroses versus Avrar MD for uh, sky veterans. Um, wow. Okay. Um, it's a uh, one versus one. We'll uh, realistic battles. We'll see where how this goes. Oh. I mean, I gotta say, I, while this while this is a plane, I would never have thought of them bringing. It is quite a nice little plane. I think it only has 150 cal though, and lots of 7.7s, so we might we might see quite long engagements. Hmm. I mean, uh, I I forgot to look. I mean, they have machine guns. Uh, is it 12 millimeters? Is it Brownings? Yes. But uh, I think most of it's 7.7s. There's, there's quite a few different versions of this plane. It's, one this has, is a G one. One has like 450 cows and one 7.7. .7. One has like one 7.7 .7 and like 550 cows. Uh, 150 cows and five 7.7s. I'd have to mm. I'd have to double check, but I think this might be the one with four 7.7s and 150 cow. I was not expecting this. Uh, flaps being used by Avrar, uh, trying to stay on the tail of uh, Head Shooter, who's also using flaps. Just to stay, um, have that extra lift and especially extra maneuverability. Uh, wow! Uh, yeah, I am. I mean, I, I mean, this is this is a cool plane. This is fun to fly. This is this is definitely a fun plane uh, in the War Thunder. Um, I just wasn't expecting it in the Gladiator tournament. I, I just never thought that a team would, you know, it, it, it's it's because of them removing the other two planes in this group. And removing the other groups before that, I'm gonna have to go look and see which airplanes they 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 had to choose between in the group. Uh, by and way, we also uh, the saw engine the... of head shooters was is now out. We saw the HE 112 as well. Another plane we thought we would never oh, yeah, see yeah, in this yeah. tournament. Well, no, I I were hopeful. I was hopeful. Well, head shooter is done. He's not even like oh he is trying. Oh oh oh. Okay okay. <laughs> Not sure why, but uh, okay. Maybe he's trying to trick his opponent into diving. To do something dumb, yeah. To do something dumb. But I mean, he can. He's just gonna stay up there, honestly. <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't want to give up. Wow. Oh, come on. Oh, it's... 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I mean, this is the grand final. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's, it's, I mean, you, it's want, you want it to last as long. You want the moment to last as long as possible. <laughs> as a mountain. Skip, 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 skip. I'm surprised skip he hasn't put landing I wanna, gear I want to see, see him skip. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. Soft landing. The softest water landing I have ever seen. I he get he definitely gets ten out of ten for style. Yep. Uh, however, the first leg goes too. 
SV, I was going to say, uh, Sky Veterans, there we go. <laughs> Name just slipped. It. Um. <laughs> Most people are using mouse and keyboard in the... Uh, <laughs> in the... Uh, what do you call it? In the realistic battles. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just uh, taken by... That, that, was, that was fun. I'm still taken I, by the plane. Well, yeah, you're still taking my plane. Yeah, we did not expect at all to see the 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 P30 60. You've gotta gotta see what weapon loadout it comes with here now. Yeah, I've got um, it all ready to go. So it is the one with two fifty cows and four seven point six millimeter machine guns. I think there is one with more armament than that one. I think there is one mm -hmm. that goes up to five fifty cows, six fifty mm -hmm. cows. Mm. Yeah, there's a few of them. There is quite a few. It's difficult to tell when you're in uh, custom battles because <laughs> you can't see the entire tech tree. Two twelve and four seven. Four hundred and two thousand. All right. Oh, well, this is gonna be an interesting series then. Uh, to 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 spectate, uh, we're gonna have. Um, well, Sky Veterans is up one leg. And we have a few seconds here until they load into the next map. The next map, the next round. Five seconds and then start. We will see Red Dragon War flying out for Sky Veterans versus Johnny K flying out for White Rhinoceros. This is one versus one, this is realistic battles. Donny K climbing mostly. Red Dragon coming around really well using combat flaps. And that was a lot of bullets. That was a lot of uh, bullets. The the elevators has been damaged on Donnie here, and the the, the left. Well, everything else is getting damaged now too. But also now the engine, but also the left uh, flap and on fire, and I think and pilot killed. So there we go. SV going like quick and effective in this second leg, which they now one or up two leg versus none against white rhinoceros white rhinoceros is now on the rope uh, in the first round they have to win the next two to uh, get this into a tiebreaker if uh, sky veterans wins the next one versus one duel they get the first point I mean, this probably is the plane that you can spray the most with since it has a, a lot of rounds. Mm. So I don't think they need to worry too much about just spray, uh, running out of bullets, that's for sure. Definitely. So we're gonna quickly and effectively, as always, move into the next 
one versus one. It's going to be the third one. Uh, again, as I said, uh, Sky Veterans is up two here, so uh, it is now uh, White Rhinoceros who has to win to uh, have a chance at getting that first point. And we're in, and we're now waiting for them to spawn. We have Futul, something like that, flying up for Sky Veterans. Uh, that's the Russian flag, I think, yes, on his tail. I like when you do that on the tail, that kind of looks cool. And he has a gladiator decal on the front. And panther, <laughs> and we're not joking. That's a lot of decals. You know this is not simulated when you have that many decals on your plane. <laughs> and he's facing off Maniac Sith Master flying out for uh, White Rhinoceros. By the way this plane is decaled, maybe maybe they want, they've they wanted to fly this plane all along. They've just been hoping and wishing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why not? Or they've just been practicing the plane and he put some decals on it. Hard to tell, hard to tell. Or maybe he did that as soon as they knew. No, because you can't do decals in custom battles. Nah, but maybe he left. Using and stealth rounds in this. it is the... brutal, I mean, just just so confident. They 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 might actually have a practice with this plane. Like, they, they seem to be doing very, very well with this plane. Baby Sky Veterans won this match already at the plane pick. Because uh, they just took the first point. I'm actually going to go over to the War Thunder forums. Get a quick look on the tournament. War Thunder Super Cup regulations and see which airplanes were in that group. So. Here we go. That is group A. So here, here's, here's, here's what happened. One team removed group B, which contained KI-61, BF-109, F-4, Yak-1B. One of the teams removed that group. I actually had, didn't know that BF-109 and Yak-1B was in the same group, so that's kind of interesting. That. Yes, that's probably why they're just so popular, because so you one, one, teams. Yeah, so, so people removed that or two teams. Exactly, we got group B a lot. Uh, another team removed group C. Which was P39 and Zero, Spitfire Mark 9, and LA5F. So, Group B and Group C were removed from the uh, from the uh, plane sets they could fly. So, Group A was left. So, within Group A, you have three airplanes. You have A6M3 Ryzen, the HE112B0, and the P36G. So, one team removed the A6M3 Ryzen, and another team removed the HE112 uh, B0, which left them with the P36G, which is the one they're flying. So 3 0 in the first round. Oh, there will be additional 1 versus 1. Yeah, sometimes they do just fly. I mean, that was rather quick. So maybe they just want everybody to warm up, enjoy themselves. It is the grand mm -hmm. final, you know, just get everybody a chance right. to fly. Alright. I mean, you never know, they, they might they might sub out the guy. Maybe they have, like, four guys who they're like, these are our 1v1 pilots, and they might take out one dude and have a load of different 2v2 pilots. Hmm. Alright. That's awesome. I like it though. I like it though. That's. I mean, it is the last match in the Super Cup, so why not? Why not? Why not have a little bit of like, if they can, let's do it. 
it's uh, one one extra one versus one it doesn't this doesn't uh, count towards any points uh the first point was uh sky veterans so still a good thing i don't mind phantomus is flying out for white rhinoceroses this uh what do you call that versus mp caught in this in sky veterans <laughs> More rather interesting decals from the SVU guys. Hmm? Using a flag. Oh, that. look at that. Look at it. Flag. Romanian flag, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Romania. Somebody help me in Twitch chat. Versus Phantomas who do not know decals. I mean, this tells us that, like you said, maybe Sky Veterans were really. Maybe this was one of the planes that they... This was a secret weapons of their... Let's remove the group of planes that most teams want. And then the other team maybe remove the other. And they're like... And then, you know... Depending on the tr uh, order of picks... Sky Veterans might have had this as a strategy. To go right? and pick... This is, this uh, is get the this first airplane. time this plane has been used. Uh, We've never seen this plane. Right. So, this is the grand final. Everybody's been practicing with, like, the BF-109 and Yak-1B mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. LA-5. They've been the most popular planes. And all of a sudden, they've gone grand final time. Nobody can steal our thunder. Grab a different plane, throw it in, straight into the mix, just at random. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, as I said, they have got decals on their plane. That means they must have flown it at some point and readied it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the SV, uh, the uh, white rhinoceros guys have yet to have any real decals on that plane, so maybe they True. haven't flown this plane at all. Mm. Or practice with. We're, we're, I, I like how we're basing all our uh, theories on whether they have decals or not. Well, I mean, it's it's not a bad. It's place a big to part sort of, of the game, right? <laughs> it's it's not a bad place to sort of start. I mean, even even if they had a decal somewhere, you would think, well, they've at least used the plane once. Mm. I, I I can't fly a plane without a decal. It's 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 right. difficult. It doesn't it, turn it doesn't, as well. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah. And obviously this one is the is the longest lasting duel. The one that doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> hey, he's just how warming up. The, he's how swapping do you get up. the title? How do you get the title pyromaniac? What do you have to do? Yes. Set that? a lot of things on fire. Yeah, that's what I would assume. Stuff. Not fire, obviously. But it's like I never, I haven't seen it. And here comes MP Caught. He knew how to turn here, and he's doing what he's supposed to. Using stealth rounds with those uh, seven point sixes. To get, to get, to get, to get, to get, to get, to get done. My work here is done. And well. So, unofficially, then, uh, Sky Veterans takes the first leg 4-0. <laughs> oh, which means we're gonna move into the 2 versus 2. We'll see if they're gonna have a break or not. Sometimes they do. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. Moldovian flag. Is that what it was? Ah, oh, Moldovian flag. Okay, cool. I thought it was Romanian. Let says Moldo Moldovian. It's a Romanian. Oh, it is a Romanian. Somebody said Moldovian. <laughs> I don't know. I am not gonna. I'm not gonna question it because I have no idea what flag that was. I thought I guessed Romanian because that's the one I was thinking about. I don't even know what Moldovia is. Maybe that's some internal intriguing thing. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know.
Next one will be two versus two. Uh, 30 seconds, ready up. They are about to go into it real soon here. Two versus two, worth two points. Waiting for them to spawn. <clears throat> Five seconds and start. Red Dragon War and MP Cot flying out for Sky Veterans versus Head Shooter and Johnny K flying out for White Rhinoceros. Johnny K starting to climb instantly. And unlike in, say, Simulator, where we saw a massive split between both teams, we see White Rhinoceros, the White Rhinoceros team staying in a much closer formation. Mm. Although they've now decided to. Johnny just into, turned. Johnny just yeah. turned into going for Red Dragon here. I would I have thought he would have gone right and gone for MP Cop. And had a 2v1. He has the energy here though, he might be able to turn pretty well. Not sure. He has already started using those flaps. The head shooter versus MP Cop. Wow, Dragon were just turning so effectively. They know exactly how to handle this plane. They do. The left flaps has been damaged by Johnny or on Johnny. Actually, Skyvitter's MP Cot is being shot down by Head Shooter. So this is and has been turned into a two versus one situation. Oh, oh! Oh, MPCOT is not out yet. He's on fire, but he's not giving up. He's freaking shooting. He shot down Johnny. He actually shot down Johnny before he went down. Now that. That that takes some skill. Wow. Shooting I, I, a dude did, down did, did while on fire. Contact? I did. I was I was on. Awesome. Um... Wow. In a burning flying heat. Wow. Just freaking wow will will that be enough though because now it looks like Hedger is with a hammerhead movement here getting on red dragon wow just wow epic caught set on fire abandoned by the opponent came around like sure my plane is on fire but it's still freaking flying and you know while it's hot in the cockpit I will not bail out you know, a bit of burning flesh has not stopped me before. I do like bacon. And he came around and he shut down Johnny K for White Rhinoceros, just making this into a one versus one instead. Like, he pretty much helped his teammate there. Instead of it being a two versus one situation, which, however, Head Shooter in this one versus one that it became, just now put Red Dragon on flame. But I mean, apparently they're not afraid of flames, so do not count them out until, until the pilot you know, stop singing. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's, it's stuff. not on fire anymore. Is it because there's no more fuel to burn? No, the engine would have died a lot sooner. Yeah, you're right. But the damage on the plane, though. That would be a lot of fuel to burn. Like, there, there must be at least 20 minutes of <laughs> the aerobatic smoke. <laughs> oh. oh, okay then. Okay then. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. White Rhinoceros is due to take the first leg here in the two versus two round. They're not going out down without a fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed there by um, uh, MP Cot that was on fire for quite a while before he uh, got to a point where he actually shut down a guy, which is amazing. And I mean, he didn't. I mean, he didn't even really do anything to stop the plane from being on fire. Like mm -hmm. most people will, obviously throttle down and turn off the engine. He didn't do that, and I wasn't. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even really in that much of a dive. So I think the plane just sort of stopped <laughs> burning itself. Because, I mean, he didn't run out of fuel, and he didn't turn off the engine, and he didn't dive, so... Mm, mm, mm. The plane was just like, no, I don't, I've decided that I don't want to be on fire anymore, and... <laughs> that's, that's how he did it. Sheer force of will. And wind. And wind. Lots of wind.
All right. 30 seconds and we're gonna get into the two, uh, the second two versus two. Let's see if uh, White Rhinoceroses can take these two points or if Sky Veterans will uh, turn us into a tiebreaker. Five seconds and start. We have Phantomas and Maniac Sith Master flying up for White Rhinoceroses versus Angry Cat and Ever MD on the Sky Veterans team. The Nightmare, it says on Angry Cat. Ever not oh, flashing yeah, any decals. <laughs> I, was, I was like looking around, I was like, cut it. The oh, Nightmare. The, the Nightmare. <laughs> Phantomus and Angry Cat and Ever and Maniac seems to be the ones going against each other. Look at this! Sith Monster turning around instantly from Ever just to go and focus on Angry Cat. See? Like, that is tactic. But he does leave his plane a little bit vulnerable. I mean, he, did, he did manage did, to get a few did, hits off. Yeah, but nothing brutally damaging, but a little bit. Yeah, he does, but, you know, that's. I, I like the tactic. Like, he, you know, you do the head on and you like. Bye bye. Now he's ever obviously on the tail of Maniac, and he has done damage to the tail. Phantomus, however, decided to kill Ever, so he finished him off. And now we have Angry Cat trying here to finish off Phantomus. Well, I'm again assuming Ever is dead because he's on fire, and that went the fire went out. This plane does doesn't doesn't want to burn. Burn doesn't burn for very nope. long. But he's down anyway. So it is a two versus one situation. Phantom is definitely damaged here, heavily damaged. Well, a lot of smoke and a little bit on the Aeron stuff. The left Aeron is damaged on Angry Cat. Uh, Maniac Sith Monster has that tail damage. So I can't tell who's doing the best here. Phantom is on the tail on Angry Cat. He's actually able to probably do a lot of damage right there. And he did. He did. There's more damage done now. The left wing is definitely damaged. Uh, the flying off Angry Cat is not easy and he's up versus two players. And there you go, now he's on fire, and the wing though, you need, even if you won't be on fire for long, the wing is necessary for flight. That's what I learned when I was in school. So this is why Ranostros is turning this into an interesting series, coming back, taking two points. Which puts them at a two point versus one up against Sky Veterans. Which means that the four versus four will not be able to draw this uh, the series out. It will actually decide who wins the series, and then we'll see whoever that is what what happens after that. Uh, if Sky Veterans wins the four versus four, they are the champions. If White Rhinoceros wins, I am not entirely sure, but I think there might ha be a, there might be a second series to be played to to finalize to decide who, who gets out on top. So this could be a long, uh, long game. It could. And this, I think this is the most points Sky Veterans have actually lost in, in the entire <laughs> series, is two points. <laughs> like normally they oh, lose mean? the 1v1, the like White oh, Rhinoceros pretty. did beat them um, last time in the, in the finals. And they took a point Find from them right. in the 1v1, but this is the first time they've they've lost a 2v2. Mm. So this is the most points they've ever lost in the Super Cup. Yeah. So there is a five minute break. And uh, as always, we have uh, Rocket and Cytec to thank for sponsoring the tournament. Uh, there's hardware prices uh, coming from both of those. There's gonna be a joystick, there's gonna be a mouse, mice, mice, mouse. <laughs> uh, 
especially uh, the rocket mouse is gonna be the rocket tie-in mouse and we do have a video to play to show you guys that mouse 16 buttons fin switch cool looking badass mouse that uh that some of these players will be getting because of their high placement in this tournament so uh let's have let's have a look at that video uh, before we get back and uh, get ready for the four versus four Meet the Rocket Tie On, featuring the brand new Rocket Accelerator Analog Thumb Paddle, giving you unrivaled command capabilities. The new Rocket Fin Switch, letting you execute multiple maneuvers at the same time. Four ergonomic top buttons, instinctively placed so that you can hunt for prey, not for buttons. Meet the new standard in gaming mouse control. That's, that's potentially the last time we ever see that. Oh, potentially. I don't know. I don't know if it's the last time. Well, as in... Uh, we don't know. Supergirl. They might be sponsoring the next tournament. Well, what I mean is... Is that's... Like, if unless, unless as you said... If White Rhinoceros win and it goes into another one... Mm-hmm. They'll probably play it again. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, that's that's kind of depressing. Oh, you're you're reading too much into it, man. I liked I liked that. <laughs> I like the mouse though. I I, I I I want one. I want one rocket tie on it's. I don't know. It looks cool. I don't know if I would like it. Like I don't I don't know if it's a mouse for me and my you know hand and gameplay. But I would love to give that a go. That looks awesome. Just because it looks awesome. That's pretty much it. I don't. Functionality, don't know, don't care. It has 16 buttons. I, I, I that's that's plenty. <laughs> plenty, plenty I'll, of buttons. I'll, hey, 16 buttons, right? I'll have five of them bound to left cl mouse click, and five of them bound to right mouse click, and I'll have the other six probably be scroll click. Oh no, no, five of the no, and five of them be scroll click. So that's five, five, five. Then I have one more, and I'll, I'll, I'll have that on the thumb button. I'll have that as push to talk in Teamspeak. Oh, you could if you if you were streaming, you could have them all set to uh, the different scenes as well. <gasps> mm. Mind blown! The, the first ever streaming mouse. <laughs> <laughs> now that that would be a good use for it to switch between that would two be scenes. Awesome. Click, click, yeah, right, click, done. Click, click, click. Oh, you want to record that? That's click. That's that's fucking awesome. I like that idea. I should have. I, sh I, sh <laughs> I should. I should. I uh, should get onto them and tell them that. That's a great idea. All right, we're soon gonna go moving to the four versus four here. One minute to start. Less than one minute to start, that is. In a four versus four. Hmm. Let us know in Twitch chat who you think will win or who you hope will win, guys, because we're now getting into it. Do you think Sky Veterans will win the 4 versus 4? Or do you think White Rhinoceroses will win the 4 versus 4? 
If Skywedrons wins, they are the champions of the Realistic Battle Gladiator Super Cup 2015. If White Rhinoceros is win, we do expect there to be another series of matches. That's why I I will hope White Rhinoceros is win because I want to know if I'm correct on that. <laughs> Even though that will like double the amount of time that we commentate this match, I don't care. I will make it more exciting because Sky Veterans could still win that. I do not have a favorite in this match. I'm just hoping for good gameplay. It is Johnny K, Phantomas, Maniac, Sith Master, Head Shooter, Flying Out for White Rhinoceros is in the 4 vs 4 versus Red Dragon War, Angry Cat, Ever MD, and MP Cot flying for Sky Veterans. Here we go. Don't get an angry cat bashing each other. Bullets are being fired. Phantom has fired on Red Dragon. He actually... Oh, Aver set a fire by Head Shooter. Aver has been shot down, actually. Angry cat is smoking a little bit. Phantom has just Holy been shit. shot down by MP Cop. It's a 3 versus 3 now. And Maniac is putting a lot of bullets into MP Cot. But Red Dragon War is putting a lot of bullets into... Into Manic Sith Master. It is still a 3 versus 3. Oh! Johnny K put on fire. By MP Cot. Head shooter, uh, head shooter's engine's dead. So I don't think head shoot is going to be much use. Red Dragon put on fire by head shooter. Though. Oh my lord! <laughs> Said he's not going to be much use. Shoot somebody Maniac down. Maniac set on fire now though. Is there anybody? Oh, who Red is Dragon's not on fire anymore. Johnny K is very damaged. He's trying to get MP caught right here. Is there anyone not damaged? Got rounds. Oh, and pilot snipe on him. Oh god, this this is bad. This means that head shooter. The guy with no engine. He's the only one that matters, cause Maniac! <laughs> oh well, he, he got the fire out. But no wings. Oh, well. There we go, guys. This is Sky Veterans coming out on top in this chaotic... 4 versus 4. Here we go. Victory smoke, as we call it, or aerobatic smoke. Looks like MP Cot was the only one who didn't really sustain any kind of damage. Mmm... Yeah, a lot of bullets were fired on him. Because Angry Cat, actually. Angry Cat's smoking. Red Dragon is full of holes. The MP Cot's just mm. like, yeah, this, this this plane's fine. We'll go again. Wow. I gotta say, with all the fires going on to uh, Sky Veterans, <laughs> I did I did think White Rhinoceros was gonna pull it out of the bag. Mhm. Mm I'm waiting for the official word, but uh, Sky Veterans did win that one, and uh, they are the champions, guys. Sky Veterans are the champions of Realistic Battle, Realistic Battle Super Cup, 2015. Congratulations to Sky Veterans for coming first, being the champions, and congratulations to White Rhinoceros for coming second. Not a bad feat at all, coming back from that. Uh, we also want to thank all of you uh, for watching. Please follow War Thunder here on Twitch.tv uh, to not miss any future content and coverage.